Okay, so this is the texturing bit of the series, and uh, let's get started. So we have already uh, UV unwrapped uh, the mesh. Now you can see what we have. Uh, there's some good UVs. Uh, so let's uh, dive into the texturing. So yeah, I've gone in and uh, downloaded some textures. You can just find textures wherever you find them. And I'll just uh, drag and drop them in here. Let me see. So just use one single texture and I will uh, separate the channels for different uh, uh, maps. <coughs> so you can see this is our shoe. It looks quite good, I think. So we can connect the color, the base color to the color. You can see the UV is a bit, uh, the texture is, is too large right now. So I can use Ctrl T uh, to bring the mapping. Uh, make sure you have the node wrangler add-on turned on for this. Uh, we can uh, scale this texture up a bit. I think that's a good uh, size. Uh, we can come in to the render settings, turn on ambient occlusion, and uh, turn on uh, screen space reflections. Uh, so we have something like this. And uh, we can also turn on the li uh, scene lighting if you are in the material uh, tab here. So we can, so that we can get some shadows from the light. Uh, so yeah, we need a color map. So we need a reflection map from this. Uh, so I can just add a color vector, convert color ramp. I connect this color. Uh, so to preview the results of this, I can just use Control Shift click, and then I can see the map here. So you can bring this just to see. what we have and then we can feed that into the roughness and this is what we have uh, but uh, it's too reflective so we can turn down uh, the black parts let's see let me see how this map looks it does need a little bit more contrast, I think. So let's see. But, uh, it shouldn't be that reflective, so we can turn this even further down, something like that. And now we need another map for the bump maps. So count, uh, vector bump map. And uh, we can feed this into the height. I uh, connect the normal to the normal, and this is what we have. Now we can reduce the strength by a bit. I uh, just to see the results better. You can first turn off uh, these other nodes. You see. I think this is fairly good for the bump map. Oh, this is good. And uh, we can also add the ambient occlusion, our uh, ambient occlusion node. Uh, this will also affect uh, the bump mapping, give it more detail. So if we add a color mix RGB, uh, connect the ambient occlusion, and change the, the blending mode to multiply, uh, increase the factor uh, to one, connect this to the color, can see how the bumps get more detailed. Uh, so uh, if you want more ambient occlusion, you can just come in here and uh, increase uh, the distance here. And uh, if you want more control, you can also add a convert car ramp in between there uh, so that you can uh, make uh, more changes like that, give it more contrast because you don't want to push it too much otherwise it will not look as realistic uh, so we have uh, something like that uh, so we can bring in the color uh, but uh, we can just feed it to the top color node like that so that is multiplied over over this uh, over the bump map over the ambient occlusion. Uh, 
uh, we can, uh, let me see, if we increase this, oh, we need this connected to the roughness. I think uh, the texture we are using is a bit, it's, it's not as uniform as this. Uh, you would need to find a better texture than mine. So let me see if I can find anything better than this. this here. Yeah, but uh, it's not the kind of texture I want. Let me see if I can find good hmm. some good leather textures here. We can just go with this and uh, maybe we can tweak it later. Or oh, let's try changing uh, the color a bit so that it's not uh, this, it doesn't have this much contrast. So if we added, say, a color mix node, connected this color, now this to the color. So at zero, it's uh, this texture, but uh, we want, we don't want it to be too powerful. So let's, uh, let's see if we change it to darken, multiply, screen. Oh, we can switch this around and give this that brownish color. We'll just pick it directly there. So this, so that, that detail doesn't come in too much. Let's see overlay. I'm just experimenting here. I'll uh, see how this would look now let's preview this i think that's much better so if we want the texture to come in more we just use this slider here now you can change the color make it a bit brighter let's see overlay of soft light It really looks good in black. But, uh, let's see. But we still want that color to come through. Or that texture uh, to come through. Maybe around there. Let's try linear light. Hmm. Let's try screen. Hmm. I think that's a good tone. 
color tone. So we have that. Uh, so we can come in and uh, set up our lighting. So I'll just add an HDRI image. So let me find one. maybe increase uh, the reflectiveness of this material around there. But um, I think this bumps a bit too much, so let me use 0.1 or 0 0.05. Let's see if we turn them off. So around there should be good. And uh, we can select uh, this part here. Give it a new material. You know, make sure this is duplicated. And uh, for this, we want it to be smoother than the, the bottom part. So uh, we can come in and uh, reduce on the bumps and uh, increase on the reflection. And uh, maybe change the color a bit here. Maybe the reflection should be, shouldn't be that sharp. And I can select uh, this bottom part, Control L. I'll give it the same, another material as well. Just the same, but uh, modified a bit. Assign. And uh, also make sure this is a duplicate. And uh, we can make this even darker. Make. and uh, increase uh, the bump strength. So let's uh, change the lighting a bit. So I'll use an area light there. Shift D, duplicate this, put this behind. I think the texture here is a bit too large for that area, so uh, let's try making it. Okay, this is the soul, this here. Let's try making it five, five, and five. And, uh, you can reduce uh, the color there. Maybe make it a bit browner. You can see we are missing a few details. I like these uh, stri strips, bootstraps. Uh, I think I'll do that in a different part. Uh, but uh, for now, this is what we have. And uh, for the inside, I think this is a separate mesh uh, to control L. So I can just uh, give it a different material like that. Uh, maybe increase that selection a bit. <coughs> and uh, we can also select this here, give it a new material. Uh, we can use the same material assign, but uh, change it a bit. So this will be, let's try using white. 
in there like that and uh, I think we need this to be a bit more than that so we can have something like that so if you want you can add in the seams and what uh, but I think uh, this is good enough so shift D I'll duplicate this and uh, maybe rotate I can also center the origin origin to geometry of this Yeah, that's our shoe. Thank you for watching.